Back to our good old friends, Cleric and Omni. Friends through death. They like to get high and play games. Their favorite game is Bong Pong, similar to Beer Pong, but I think you get it. And face off against George and Killer Assassin, their greatest foes. Killer Assassin's losing, so he cuts Omni's arm off, but he still loses. George and Killer Assassin go back to their hideaway. Inside of George's bug bar, of course. While shooting some pool, they hear commotion from the bar entrance. A spider is standing just outside of the front entrance, rapping an unlucky bystander. It calls out to George and Killer Assassin. Have you two seen an escaped alien? George knew exactly who he was talking about, as he saw him just before the spiders took him in the first place, but he had no idea where they were now. But they could be with Glaric and Omni. Yeah, I think I've seen them. Let me just talk to the Killer Assassin real quick. If you must. George and Killer Assassin meet behind the bar, hoping the spider can't hear them. They decide to make a deal. Maybe they could convince the spiders if they find the alien, they'll leave their bar alone for good. Killer Assassin liked the sound of this plan, so they leave from behind the bar and go to talk to the spider. Hey, yeah, we'll help you find your alien, but you gotta leave us alone after. And not just us, this bar. You ain't that right, George. Yeah, you got it right, buddy. Deal. I will miss your bar. Whatever you feed them makes these bugs taste so delicious. George and Killer Assassin lower themselves down to Omni and Galeric. Hey, I know you two have the alien we're looking for. Um, what are you talking about? Omni responded. You know, little green guy, big eyes, big head. Um, are you just talking about me? Because that's not very nice. But, no, we haven't seen anything like that. Just then, a huge crash sound is heard right above. A spaceship crashed into the column? Wait, I didn't think technology worked on here. Yeah, well, obviously it doesn't. It crashed. The spiders must have heard the commotion also, because spider scouts were starting to come out of their cave, looking, investigating the crash. Omni and Glare looked down at the bottom of the column, hoping it wasn't the very alien that they were just trying to help escape. But, alas, instead of walking away like he was supposed to, he was making his way back up the column. Hey, Omni. Yeah, Cleric? I think that spaceship was his friend. Yeah, I'd say that's a pretty safe assumption. Apparently, they weren't being sneaky enough while looking because quickly, George and Killer Assassin noticed. Hey, you two said you didn't know where he was. You said you didn't even know who he was. I mean, do you blame us for lying to you? Huh, I, yeah, he's got a point. Garlic yells out, Tyke, run! But instead of running off the column, he decided to climb faster up the column and hid behind a rock, hoping the spider didn't notice him. I don't think he realizes he's supposed to be hiding from the pig and pineapple also. George and Killer Assassin start making their way towards the alien with a clear line of sight. Tyke yells up to the UFO, hoping to get his friend's attention. Zaxatron, where are you? Zaxatron heard, so he lowered down a rope for Tyke to climb up and get to the spaceship with him. As Tyke is making his way up the rope, the spiders notice. Everyone knows where Tyke is now. Scrambling up the rope, he makes it to Zaxatron, but as he flops over the ledge, he realizes, Where is Minus? Wasn't he with you? Just then, they look up and notice Minus is hiding behind a rock, but before they had a chance to even make it up to him, or think about making it up to him, a spider grabs him from out the cave. Without a second thought, Xerlax grabs Tyke and jumps off the cliff, using a wingsuit to glide down safely. Cleric sees what's going on and decides to leave to get help. But who's gonna help? Gothlin. Gothlin owes him a favor. But currently, Gotham's working in Isha's castle as security, so Glaric decides to talk to Lil G instead. Hey, Lil G. Long time no see. Um, so, Gotham owes me a favor, and I was wondering if I could cash that in right now. <laughs> um, sure, what, what do you need? Anything for my good pal, Glaric and Omni. Um, yeah, um, okay. Anyway... So, we made a new friend, his name is- Oh, we're talking about those two aliens! Well, we used to be three. Yeah, that's actually exactly why I'm here. How do you know? I see and hear everything. And also, I got a pretty good view from up here. Oh yeah, of course. Um, could you help me get the one that went in there out? <laughs> oh, you mean Minus? Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know his name, but if that's his name, then yeah, yeah, Minus. Yeah, sure. Let me just talk to the spiders real quick. 
Little G shuffles over to a hole in his wall and starts whispering. And not even a few moments later, a spider comes crawling out. Hey, uh, did you get my message? Yes. Or should we must? Coughlin said he could put a hex on you and help you protect your home. Okay, that's, um, that's a pretty good deal. I'll, I'll take it, I'll take it, yes, yes. Okay, okay. So, how do we do this? Um, how about you just leave them outside the cave, wait for them to come back and get them? Uh, yes, I never thought of that. Okay. Well, we have a deal, don't we? You know Gotham. He never backs down from his deals, as long as he likes you. A few hours later, the two aliens come back. Tyke and Zerlax looking for their friend, expecting to fight to the death with the spiders. Well, not death, but to agonizing suffering for many, many years. But to their surprise, there was Minus just sitting on the cave entrance. Hey, um, what happened here? I thought you were being liquefied. Yeah, well, just as I was about to start, they said that I was free to go. So, um, here I am. But they said I couldn't move from in the spot until you guys came back because... They couldn't protect me from some other creature trying to get me, so I waited here very, very tightly. So, uh, where to next? Zorlax pointed down at the bottom of the cliff. You see those two down there? They asked us to play bong bong. You down? <laughs> <laughs>